Hello gardeners, in this video I'm going to show you how to make green grass jelly from fresh leaves. So let's harvest some leaves. In general, green grass jelly plants come into two types, either vines or shrubs. In this video, we are using the vine types. To get a good result, only use leaves that are in deep green color. For the plants to grow well, you need to set an area where the vines can climb and get enough sun, approximately 4 hours of sun per day. We start by weighing the leaves. We need 50 grams worth. Although all of our plants are pesticide free, we still need to wash the leaves to remove any dust or dirt. Just rub the leaves and rinse about 2 to 3 times until they are clean. Measure 1 liter of water. Place clean leaves into a large bowl and pour 1 liter of water in. Now we start wringing the leaves. The wringing process is to extract chlorophylls out of the leaves. This process is done as fast as we can before the liquid thickens. We wring for about 10 minutes. Wring and squeeze the leaves as hard as you can to get the best outcome. As you wring and squeeze the leaves, their color becomes lighter and almost transparent. I did minimum video editing for the process so you can see the gradual color change in the water and also the pulp. When the leaves become light in color, then we are done. Now we strain the liquid. Here we are straining for leaves and also foams from the wringing process. We have to strain the liquid straight away as it will thicken very quickly. You can use jelly moldings if you like, but I just portions in bowls. Put them in the fridge for about 3 hours to firm up. Tada! It's ready to eat! Here you can see the texture of the jelly as I put my spoon through it. For me, I'm happy with this texture, but if you like it firmer, just reduce the water by 100 to 200 ml. First glass, I will serve it with milk and cocoa pandan syrup. In the second glass, I serve it with liquid palm sugar. You can use coconut milk instead of cow's milk if you prefer. You can serve this according to your liking. You can add some toppings such as jackfruit, fermented cassava, and etc. How do you eat your green grass jelly? Do you add toppings? Please let me know in the comment. As you can see, this jelly is all natural, so it won't last too long. It will start turning back to liquid after 48 hours. It is still safe to eat, just remove the water before eating. If you wring the leaves for too long, the water and the chlorophyll will split. This one was wrung for over 30 minutes. This is the result if you mix the water bit by bit texture becomes spongy and unpleasant to eat. If you have any questions, please type in the comment below. And if you're trying for the first time, let me know how you go too. 